Her husband is a traditional conservative Christian man. Oh God, you silly little child, are you okay? He needs to shut up. I hope as you get older, you develop some sense because right now it's not there. Hello, welcome and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Skincare and Storytime Sunday. One of these days I'm going to get this makeshift title. Anyway, as usual, I will be doing my skincare and reading up some Reddit stories to you guys. I will be completing said skincare from the previous video because I, di I didn't finish. Today we've got three Reddit stories, one from Malicious Compliance and two from an IV A haul. And let's get into it. The OP is 3rd of December blues. Okay, 3rd of December? I would have thought 3rd of January would be blues. Am I the a hole for wearing makeup to my sister's wedding? I, 14 male, have been practicing makeup for around two years now and I really enjoy it. I've done pretty well and can do at least one or two hard looks on myself, that's good. I don't do super heavy makeup, just usual simple looks. My sister, let's call her Sally, got married last weekend. Her husband is a traditional conservative Christian man. Oh God. <laughs> We know where this is going. Anyway, her husband is a traditional conservative Christian man and has been quite vocal about his opinions on me doing makeup and being bisexual. He needs to shut up. Sally had a traditional wedding. I was the flower boy because no one else could. Her color theme was yellow and lavender, by the way. I wore a lavender suit. Oh, that's cute. I had my hair curled and wore a basic purple yellow makeup look. Eyeshadow in the shape of flowers, light blush and contour and a glossy lip look. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. My sister love my look she said i look really pretty and should be proud of myself etc her husband on the other hand was very judgmental the whole time he would glare at me wouldn't touch my shoulder in family photos made snarky comments and even told me i was overdressed or overly feminine he uninvited me from all the male pictures which kind of sucked because i was looking forward to it my parents are supportive of me by the way thank goodness the worst part about this whole thing was the fact that he made a speech about how god saves all sinners and glared right at me the whole time i guess my question is am i the a-hole because I wore makeup and felt pretty. No, I don't think you're the a-hole. You didn't do anything wrong. The bride was fine with it and the bride is your sister. I, on the other hand, am questioning your sister because why would you, as a sibling of somebody who is part of the Libertaqua community, why would you marry a bigot? Your sister confuses me. That is crazy to me. That's like marrying a racist when you have black siblings. That's crazy. But anyway, I mean, it's not the same thing, but obviously it's kind of like in a similar vein of you know what I'm trying to say it's in the same vein but it's not the exact same apples to apples situation he's the asshole he is absolutely insane why would he say that that's so wrong of him I was gonna say something about the groom in this situation and then my mic died I think my mic is actually pissed off with said groom so it didn't want to be involved in the conversation so yeah I'm just gonna settle with you're not the a-hole I love that your family is on your side I love that your sister was happy with your makeup and loved your makeup and told you so i think her groom is the a-hole and i'm confused why she's with him let's see what the comments are saying op offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the a-hole number one wearing makeup to my sister's wedding and not being typical masculine two because i could have made myself not stand out so much with the look a deleted user says to put it bluntly your sister's husband is so weak that you wearing makeup was somehow a threat to his own masculinity do not ever listen to a word this guy says op responds i won't i'll probably dress up really nice next time i see him to out gay myself a bit <laughs> i know it's petty but it's fun go for it gold finger says nope not the a-hole but your sister's new husband sure is what the heck is she doing marrying him you don't deserve that kind of judgment on it but your makeup look great i'm glad your family has your back exactly obi responded i wonder if he was jealous i could teach him if he asks <laughs> jrm1102 says not the a-hole you absolutely are not and don't you dare think you are for one second i'm sorry he made you feel that way but just ignore him and know that you have plenty of people who love and support you the cat from Coraline says not the a-hole but both your sister and brother-in-law are Oh, why is she marrying someone who openly bullies her kid brother that I don't understand I mean the OP replied saying that's so real I don't know that I want to call the sister an a-hole but like I can see a world where she is 
because like why it's one thing if you don't get along with my family that's already a big question mark but then to openly be bigoted and like oh no i don't like it okay perception 1131 says i'm sad your sister has chosen hallelujah praise jesus that's the word chosen to marry a bigot and is allowing her husband to treat her own brother poorly your bil is a bad man and your sister is equally to blame if not also seeing as you're her brother i think the comments are making me feel like oh she is the a hole too i was trying to be nice to her but girl you're not giving us you know oh ah oh no Oof, you're not the air home allowed. The brother in law definitely is though. The next story is from Senior Produce 1819 and they say, Am I the air hole for telling a girl she's not special for not wanting to wear makeup? <gasps> Wait, is this Jane from the other story we read? I'm surprised I remembered her name, but like, god dang, why would you say that to someone? Basically, my 16 female, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so OP 16 female friend Emily 17 female basically my friend Emily 17 female and I know this girl Jane 16 female Jane is someone we met not too long ago and we got along just fine I would say Emily seemed to like Jane a lot so we've all been getting closer recently the thing about Jane is she doesn't wear makeup like at all You're 16 it's, it's not okay anyway she also makes no effort to dress up or anything she shows up in a hoodie almost every day and always looks tired when we talk it doesn't actually seem like she's actually tired it just seems like she's just not making any effort to look good she still looks all right but it definitely seems like she doesn't think twice about her appearance before coming to school i told emily about this she seemed to agree but she said it seems like it's because jane is not that confident in her looks or something and that she will try to work with with her on that if she wanted okay i think emily's got the right idea here but let's keep reading i feel like that's just an excuse Ooh, a hole anyway so when i saw jane i just asked her why she doesn't bother to fix herself up a bit before coming to school i told her it will be worth it and her efforts will show she just laughed a bit and started saying how makeup isn't for her and she's okay with having a shorter routine before coming to school i told her well everyone tries to look good so she could try too but she still wasn't listening much definitely see Seemed like she was one of those girls who thought makeup is just trying too hard or whatever so i told her if she's trying to be special then it's not working she said she doesn't care about being special and only cares about her grades it didn't seem like she'd get my point just yet so i left it at that emily then apparently found out about all this and is taking her side am i the a-hole i was only trying to advise her gently gently because everyone probably knows too and it would be better for her not to be embarrassed one day i would say the only person embarrassed here is you you silly little child are you okay i feel like this girl has a good head on her shoulders and i'm very interested to know what her home life is like because she's very focused on her grades like if you said she smelled bad i'd be like okay she wears hoodies what are you supposed to wear when you're 16 a two-piece skirt suit what the heck she doesn't think twice about her appearance before coming to school so is it your appearance why are you so why are you why are you pressed Ugh. you're the one that's trying too hard she says her priority is her grades to be perfectly honest like if you were even nice about it like makeup is fun let me show you let me try it on you if you tried talking to her nicely maybe she would have had a different like reaction to it not only did you not try nicely when she said no you didn't shut up you kept going why would you say that to a person are you okay i told her it would be worth it and her efforts will show for what you're in high school what effort are you showing for what 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 is the goal of, of wearing makeup at 16 the problem is not even wearing makeup at 16 the problem is the fact that you think that her not wanting to wear makeup is her trying to show off <sighs> i hope as you get older op you you develop some some sense because right now it's not there obi is offered the following explanation for why they think they may be the a-hole i could be an a-hole only for saying it directly and not finding another way to say it and also because emily seems upset and maybe it hurt jane's feeling which wasn't the intention you can't tell me that telling somebody if they are trying to be special it's not working was not intended to hurt them you can't say that snarkus aurelis says you're the a-hole why do you think it should be your job to police this girl's appearance and someone replied saying because if girls don't have to wear makeup then op is shallow i wonder how the op felt reading these <laughs> antique trash 
says, you're the a-hole, she didn't imply she was special for not wearing makeup, this is just what your mind went to, it seems you're the insecure one, she doesn't have to try to look good, I'm sure she's a beautiful young girl, stop trying to make her feel bad, as long as she's hygienic and wears appropriate clothes, you should leave her alone, seriously, and I say that as a woman who wears a ton of makeup. <laughs> Ace Forever says, you're the a-hole, seems like the only person bothered by her not wearing makeup is you, I agree with that. Oh, this account has been suspended, whoa, oh that's great. Oh, that's that's fantastic for them. It's not. I'm being very sarcastic. Teenagers can be sh can't they? Opie was definitely the a-hole, but Opie is 16, and I hope the comments humbled her, and I hope they gave her something to like be introspective about. They've got time to learn to be nicer to people. I don't know where my mic stopped recording from, but I feel like people who think like this need an event in life to like bring them back down to earth to let them know that they're being absolutely unhinged and i think this was it for her i hope that she takes this feedback and she changes and she apologizes to jane in the story jane was the nice person <laughs> i hope she apologizes to jane i hope she changes her ways I hope she builds on her self-confidence so she doesn't feel like makeup is tied to her self-worth or her, her beauty or whatever i hope she's not like insecure moving forward what am i saying I don't know what i'm saying anymore um i just hope the op learns from this and they go on to be a better person from now henceforth but let me know what do you think in the comments below we've got one more story before the end of this video if you haven't already please subscribe we're very happy we're very grateful Anyway, <laughs> this was posted by Dragonfly69420 and the title is I overdressed for work. That's okay. I mean, I don't overdress for work, but I overdress for other things. <laughs> I, 24 female, work in a high-end store and we have a very specific dress code. No jeans unless it's black, no leggings, no skirt above the knee, no spaghetti strap, no low-cut shirts, etc. I wore a black tank top with a brown knitted turtleneck, black jeans, black shoes and black black socks my hair was in a nice bun as well i wore this many times before and had no issues with it until the other day don't we love that when rules change overnight i got pulled to the back by the assistant manager and she told me that i needed to dress better and look less homeless the manager right beside her said nothing and when I tried to ask what she meant, the manager told me to listen to her. That night, I went online and found everything I needed. The next day, I went all around the local mall and shopped until I couldn't shop anymore. I got a blue dress, $20, white gloves, $5. Snake bell necklace and bracelet, $15, and I went to the drugstore to get bobby pins. I spent that night doing my hair until it was perfect. I ironed my dress, I cleaned and polished the pearls, and I practiced light makeup. Everything was perfect and ready. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. to be at work by 9, and this is why I don't like wearing makeup to work. Oh no. I did my hair, my makeup, my nails, and I got dressed. I took one final look in the mirror, and I was smiling like no tomorrow. Oh, I love this. I walked into work to see my manager and assistant manager angry at me while I'm smiling. I got instantly pulled into the back and they yelled at me. All I had to say was, I don't look homeless now, do I? I walked out and customers only wanted to talk to me because I looked fancy. It was a good day day i didn't take any pictures of myself because i forgot lol i was too excited but for reference look up beehive hair and audrey hepburn the little black dress oh i'm so excited to see this oh my god oh yes oh yes 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 these are the inspirations for beehive hair just look look imagine she did that one. Oh my god or oh, this one. Oh yes lord I mean, if this is how she dressed, she definitely would have looked fancy for someone just at work. Audrey Hepburn, the little black dress, this is the sort of thing that you see. It's pretty simple in the silhouette, but paired with that hairstyle, makeup and gloves, she mentioned hers was blue, so it wasn't even like black where it blended into the background. I love this for her. I absolutely love this for her. I'm so happy for OP. Oh, this is what I just love about malicious compliance. Yes, sir. How dare they tell you you look home? the slimy wench and the fact that you had worn that outfit before and it wasn't a problem all of a sudden now mm, you look homeless it's them that look homeless them and their fathers 
rubbish that username that i will not be able to read um it's got more consonant than it it's got vowels very welsh i wore this many times before and had no issues with it until the other day nothing like finding out the manager will not stick up for you not even to impose his authority over the assistant manager no going above and beyond for them oh and the op reply said i mean i got all the commission and they got nothing so i'm gonna take that as a win <laughs> oh that's so good i love when malicious compliance works out for everybody involved oh my god imagine that oh Oh, that makes me so happy that makes me so happy kiana nine said so they were right dressing better made you successful and the op replied lmfao i mean you're not wrong i don't like that comment because it they weren't saying dress better for your benefit they were saying you look hopeless that's two different things but anyway that's their business toffee not short oh well that's the name that is oh my from what you responded to in the comments i don't think the manager and this is the manager dress especially different from your outfit so i wonder where this suddenly came from true your response made me laugh so creative i hope your stunt didn't get you labeled as a problematic employee and get you in trouble later the op replied even if it did i have more respect for my co-workers because of this so that's a positive i don't know what changed but we'll find out the reason i mean everyone talks at work oh they've been asked asking how to update for three months oh this is a fairly recent post i think from the comments that op is truly considering making this her style because the commission that she got was really good i'm really happy about that for them oh so she explained in one of her comments that the manager and assistant manager on the day she came in dressed the nines says it was disrespectful to dress like this after they just talked to her about how she dressed that she's showing off and attention seeking just a cluster f of things which is stupid and then she kept asking like how do i update how do i update oh no let's see if maybe she posted something no i haven't seen anything yet i'll put the link in the description box below so hopefully if we ever get an update we can see it we do that'd be fun that would be fun thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe i love you and i will see you next week